Okay, she's coming on, y'all. We got it figured out. So I'm gonna bring her on right away. As soon as she comes up, I'm gonna bring her on right away, okay? Lord Jesus, take the wheel, y'all. Okay. I'm looking for her. I'm looking for you, prophetess. Okay, y'all. If it don't happen this time, we're gonna go on her page. But I think she's gonna come on now. Then we're back. I might, I might get one of y'all on here. All right, y'all. I'm so sorry, but she'll be coming on. Prophetess Kimberly Daniels is gonna be coming on in the name of Jesus. We got these technical difficulties work out. She's on the right page now, so we shall see. We're waiting on it, y'all. I don't know. She's on my page, so I don't know what's going on. But guess what? We're going to get her on here with, if she's got to call me on the phone. I don't know why she's not commenting. Prophetess, comment. Hello. Okay, if she doesn't come on here really quick, I, I just sent her my phone number. I'm gonna have her call me. Um, I'm gonna have her call me and because I did not see her. Oh, there she is. Thank you, Jesus. There she is. There she is. Coming on now, y'all. Woo! Jesus, take the wheel. I said she's, it's adding her, it's adding her. So we'll see. If it doesn't work, you're going to call me up, girl. I text you the phone number. So Prophetess Kimberly M. Daniels is coming on now. It says it's adding, it's adding her. So let's pray that it actually adds her. Because she is a powerful woman of God. And I know she's got something on her heart to share, sister to sister. So it says it's adding her, it's adding her. We don't see her yet, but prayerfully she will join us in just a moment. Y'all keep sharing, okay? Because we got her now. Okay, it says the guest declined the live. You got you to gotta accept it. There's a way where you can accept it, so don't decline it, sister. Accept it. If not, we'll try this a couple times. If not, uh, Prophetess, I want you to call me because I, I left you the number. And we'll figure this out and get you on live another night. But we do want to talk to you tonight. So if it doesn't add you now, we will definitely um, we will definitely uh, get you back on live. But I want you to call me. I left you. I put a, a phone number. It's a different phone where we could we could talk to you tonight. At least talk to you, okay? So it's not adding. It's not adding you. For some reason, I, it says it's adding, 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 and then it's not adding you. So I don't know what the deal is. But guess what? You're going to call me up, okay? I text you the number for you to call me, all right? Oh, there she is. Oh, but you're sideways. Can you make it where you're not? Okay, we're going to do it like that. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Can we just speak in tongues for about Can five I... minutes? <laughs> Can I tell you that's the devil? Let me cut this light out one second. That's the devil. That is the devil. I was like, come on. Now she disappeared. Now oh, there she is. She's back. Yeah, I've been on here all the time, tapping, hitting, clicking. Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, first off, I want to, before you take over, uh, I just shared with everybody uh, on the, well, one of those videos I just already started, how you have been such a, <coughs> um, a blessing in the last week or so. I've been going through the, the darkest, really the darkest. Um, I've had a lot of things happen in my life, but when you find out that something that you thought was real is a fraud, um, it's like I was sharing with someone today and yesterday. It's like I, I can't see past today. And, um, but I'm doing better. You know, I'm, I've always been a positive person. Those that are around me, they know I'm, I'm usually, I'm just, I mean, I'm positive. I'm, and I'm not being negative right now because I, I know God has got an amazing a future for me. I'm going into 2019 really knowing of really walking in reality and not living up, you know, thinking that something's real, that it's, you know, it's not. And so you prayed over me and it was an hour and a half of deliverance. And 
I, I, I just can't tell you uh, after I got off the phone with you how such peace came over me and I, I um, you've just been amazing. And so I'm just, I want, I'm so glad that you're on here and I'm so glad you tell that sister to sister. So I just want you to share a little, some, what you have on your heart tonight. Well, well, first of all, um, thank you. It's a, it's a blessing for me, Vicki, you are, you have been a blessing to so many people in the body of Christ. And I just want to say that I honor you. I love you because, um, we have to find a, a, a common denominator or a common foundation. And I know that you love Jesus. You love the Lord. And um, there are so many times I've listened to your worship songs and you, you do more than sing, you minister. And uh, so it's my privilege, my honor to uh, connect with you uh, tonight, sister. This is, uh, <clears throat> we, you know, the goal for tonight is not about revenge, retaliation, um, or anything like that, but it's about re restoration. And when I heard uh, the story of the ladies, uh, the women uh, who were seeking God, who've been affected by uh, something like, I mean, in the same arena of what you've been affected by, um, I felt compelled to first begin to intercede and then to contact you. Um, I am, hold up, I'm having a little, okay, there we go, to intercede and then to contact you um, because um, I don't, we di you didn't get into a lot of the, 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 the details of everything. We went straight into prayer and you were so open to deliverance and God moved quickly. I've been in, I've been through some rough times in my life and um, it takes a lot to just get up and share uh, something with the world like, like you did. And um, you know, a lot of people may not understand that they, they may not understand the place that you were in and what it took for you to do that. But um, I just want to let you know that I'm with you. And I want to say that I know that you're not making this up. Um, um, just one quick minute. Um, we we want to pray for, and if you are watching this post, um, our goal is to minister to women and even men, you know, um, around the world or whoever's watching this Facebook live um, who need healing. And not just healing, they need inner healing, but people who have been hurt deep down on the inside. God has blessed me with a deliverance and an inner healing ministry. Jesus came to set the captives free. And I, I don't know all the details of what you've been through because we have a, we do a lot of praying and not talking, but I can say that um, under the covering of my apostle, John Eckhart, um, who I talked uh, to him about this um, Facebook live. And I talked to some of my, some of my other ministry friends and some of my friends who are just intercessors. And we all agree that this should be a time of healing and restoration. And I need to start off by saying that, uh, Vicki, I know that you would never get up and just fabricate stuff. And I kind of have a little bit of insight on the situation from the pastor that you were dealing with, because years ago, my apostle John Eckhart and I, we ran into a situation with the same preacher um, who, who at the time had slept with 16 women in his church. And he said he was repentant uh, before God. And so I just couldn't just sit back and say nothing. Um, I know that you're not making this up. It's been going on for a long time. And then when I found out 38 women have contacted you since then, this is not about him. It's not about what's going on in relations to, to him, but it's about uh, the ladies that we can touch yeah. tonight. And, and there are so many ladies out there that have been uh, touched by the situation that need to know that we're praying for you and we're praying for healing and deliverance and restoration. We're not judging you. We're not pointing fingers at you. Um, um, I, I, we serve El No Say, the, the God who forgives and, and so I, when I talked to 
my apostle about it, and he knows that, you know, we, we ran into this situation before, you know, I'm not in love with him. I don't have no affection for him or anything. I have no reason to lie, you know, but uh, my apostle and I ministered to him in this area, and it's my hope that I'm praying for that brother. It's my hope, you know, that that he will repent and, you know, and get it right before God. Um, um, it, it is Can I just scary. ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Terrified. Just because people may want to know, well, you just, you know, um, you said that you said there was six, the particular person that I was with for 16 months, but you said there was 16 women from his church. Yeah, and I don't want to get into no, the details do, of that. I, what I want to know, it was what, what really, what, what, now that you said that, this would happen way back in 2008. It was way back but when. What I'm saying, it's, it's 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 still it's still happening. It seems to be that way. You know, what I'm saying I don't know what happened between 2008 right. and now, but I know that was going on then. And and literally, he told me that Jesus had forgiven him, and if Jesus could forgive him, then then could I? You know. And so, I mean, it's I, I don't have a heaven or hell to put anybody in. Right. right. We all fall short of the glory of God, but some of these things that the world don't even do. So um, I, I guess we go on from, from here just, just to actually uh, pray, you know, concerning the matter. And um, I just plead the blood of Jesus. There's a lot over. of women that was affected that are on this live tonight, okay? I had them all get on. Those, a lot of the women that have been affected by this person. And to be honest with you, prophetess, um, I'm going through it and I'm hearing their stories and I'm trying to be strong, and um, in fact, I was like reaching out to Facebook counselors, people that I could send these people to, that they're just, you know, devastated. And um, I think tonight you, you mentioned that we'll be praying over them also. Yeah, yes. I mean, that's the that's the ultimate purpose. I had two two reasons for coming on because I could just sit in the background and, mm -hmm. you know, but one reason was just to lift up your arms for all of those who, you know think that you're making this up and lying. You know, there are a lot of people who who who, who, who believe you and uh, praying for you. And, and we're praying for restoration of everybody yes, involved. Um, you know, that God is a, a God of restoration, not revenge and, and retaliation. He's a God of forgiveness, but 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 he's a God that demands repentance. Mm -hmm. and, and to repent means to go to uh, go the other way and um there are a lot of folk uh, in the Christian world that, that I mean, they wouldn't touch this with a 10-foot pole. But you know what? Uh, sometimes you got to do what you feel led to do. Um, I, I feel like this is a time to pray mm -hmm. and to stand in the gap. And what what the only way I can see doing it to touch all these different women is, women is to do it right here yes. on Facebook. Um, God has been gracious to me. God has been good to me. God has strengthened me, and I just want to say a few words, not just women that to women who are dealing with your specifically directed or related situation, but women that have been um, abused, uh, sexually abused, spiritually abused, mentally, emotionally, and even have gotten into self abuse where uh, they don't know who they are. I just want to. If you if you allow me, Sister Vicky, can I can I go ahead yeah, and start yeah. ministering? Um, because the anointing destroys the yoke, mm -hmm. and um, I just plead the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. over the airwaves right now. And um, I'm not just speaking, although we're focusing on women. Um, if there's some men who want to get under this spot where the glory is coming out, I I just I just pray right now for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Um, I bind every spirit that's not of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Yes. And, 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 and any assignment that, that has come to, to shut down the flow of God, I connect with my sister right now and all my sisters and brothers that mm -hmm. are in Christ who love Jesus. Let, let the love of Christ be our foundation and the blood of Jesus be our covering. Um, women of God, even if you don't know God and you want to get to know him, this is a place where you can lay it all down. And um, I'm celebrating 30 years of salvation and 27 years of ministry. 
and you get to a place in God where it doesn't matter what people think because everything is about what folk think about us, but Jesus is coming back soon. And um, I am proud to connect uh, with, with ministries like this so that, um, I mean, this sister has laid her reputation, laid her ministry, laid everything up on before before God so that others could be set free. And I know this is a part of the healing process for her, but to those of you who are watching right now, um, first of all, I want to say to you, if you've been abused, if you've been uh, misled, if you've been cheated, um, whatever has happened to you, you need to know that you are a child of the King and heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. The, the, the main, and, and you got to know who your enemy is. Mm -hmm. Your enemy is not the violator. Your enemy is not the person who did this to you. You know, your enemy um, is, is the one who seeks around, uh, mm -hmm. roaming around, seeking whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. Um, the devil, Satan himself. He's looking for whom he may devour and we're decreeing and declaring over this airway tonight that you cannot be devoured. Um, One of the greatest types of witchcraft um, and you know, even over the water and in different cultures, one of the greatest types of witchcraft is to swallow a person whole. That word devour in the Greek is katapino. It, mean, it means to swallow whole. And for those of you who feel like you've been swallowed whole, we decree and declare tonight that the enemy will spit you up. You will become like a fish bone in his throat. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever has swallowed you will be so irritated, it will have to let you go. Mm -hmm. And the gates of hell shall not yes. prevail against you, brother. The gates of hell shall not prevail against you, sister. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the greater one is on the inside of you. And there's something about loving on Jesus. There's something about worshiping him. And there's something about no matter what you go through, you can grow through, even through the worst situations. If, we if, we if you would just trust right now, the Holy Spirit, don't trust me. Um, you can't, don't trust Vicky, trust the Holy Spirit. If you need healing right now, I'm believing God for the healing balm of Gilead yes. and, and for the anointing to, to come through the airways because the enemy wants us to complain. The enemy wants us to, to defame each other because, because this is all about the church and it's all about what God is doing in the last days. And I'm telling you that every time the enemy comes in like a flood. God raises the standard. And the standard is, is, is being raised. And this is not by power and might, but it's by the spirit of God. So we, we take authority yes. over the airways right now in the name yes. of Jesus, over the spiritual highways and, 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 and byways. And, and we connect the dots in the spirit and say that everything that the enemy has meant for evil is turning around. And if you're watching right now, I command you in the name of Jesus to lift up your head, to open your eyes and see what God has for you. Yes, I, I, I bind every temporal thing. Yes. What you see is temporal. What yes. you cannot see is eternal. That word temporal, pros, kairos, anything that will make you get ahead of the timing of God. And I decree and declare the kairos timing of God. I pray that what the enemy meant to destroy you, what the enemy meant to shut you down, what the enemy meant to shut your mouth, what the enemy meant to 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 squash the life out of you, it it, it will it will cause every oppression to take you to your next level. Like when the children of Israel were, were oppressed, the Bible says the more that Pharaoh, the more that the Egyptians oppressed them, the more they they multiplied. And I prophesy, decree, and declare spiritual, financial, emotional, mental, physical prosperity in your life in the name of Jesus. You, and, 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 I, and I touch and agree with you. Wherever you are right now, you might want to lift your hands and just take some time and just begin to worship the Lord. Just begin to worship him. Just, just receive uh, his healing balm. And, and know that everything that the enemy meant for evil, God is turning it around. He's strengthening you in your weakest place. And right now, let the spirit of intercession rise up out of the inside of your belly. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And I'm going to 
I got a book where I'm going to begin to call some things. You know, and I talked to my apostle, John Eckhart. He told me, he said, Kim, do deliverance, you know, over the air. You know, there's no distance in the spirit. So, so wherever, whatever you're going through yes, right Jesus. now, put your hand on your belly, put your hand on your heart, put your hand on your chest. And in the name of Jesus, I come against everything that has, that, that has released things against you for you to be abused <laughs> and wrongfully misused and harshly treated by any person, uh, even in a place or through a situation. In the name of Jesus, I come against anything that's harmful, anything that's malignant, anything that's injurious. I, I, I say that weapons may have formed against you, but just like they find a tumor, but they say it's not malignant. And I decree and declare that this thing is benign. It may be there, but it's benign. It's not malignant. It will not kill you. It would not destroy you. I bind physical assault, every sexual molestation, and, 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 and especially word curses, Jesus. especially self-inflicted curses through negative confessions, Jesus. through the wrong things that you've spoken out of your mouth, yes. and every, everything that's spoken uh, injuriously and to, to cause insult and, and injury in, in your life. <clears throat> I command it to be moved everything that's cruel and, a, and, a, and, a, and abusive and anything that's caused maltreatment in the name of Jesus, self-abuse in the name of Jesus, affliction, torment, and, and injury in your, your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. I command it to go right now in the name of Jesus. A a anything that will cause you to be in a depressed state right now, especially we're dealing with the spirit of depression and obsession. I break that tape recorder in your mind where those things are, are, are playing over and over and over. Those words are being repeated over and over. Those acts are being done over and over and over again. In the name of Jesus, we, we, we break the recording in the name of Jesus. We break the words. We, we break it right now. Anything that's self-abusive and self- uh, condemning. There's, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I bind that spirit of helplessness and hopelessness where helplessness and hopelessness are holding hands. I bind those demonic twins in the name of Jesus. And I break the power of every self-imposed death verdict <laughs> over your life. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. And even when you, you created your atmosphere, you created your situation with words of death that came from your own tongue, in the name of Jesus, I break that threefold cord of me, myself, and I. Those things that will keep you uh, uh, bound up in, in your own cubicle, in, in, in a crowded room in your mind, in the name of Jesus, I, I, I bind every aggressive behavior that will cause a demonic manifestation that's invasive, offensive, uh, menacing uh, toward others, even where the abuser becomes the abused in the name of Jesus, e even because you have been abused, you want to abuse others. And I bind the spirit of agitation right now. Mm -hmm. Come on, I need you to I need you to be praying in the Holy Ghost if you're if you're filled with the Holy Ghost. I need you to be, I need you to call on Jesus, whatever, whatever it needs to do. Put your hand on your belly, put your hand on your head, put your hand on that, but I bind that spirit of agitation. That, that, that demon that's stirring the pot, that's stirring the kettle. In the name of Jesus, every spirit that would, of agitation that would prompt psychological or physical or, or, or things to manifest to cause restlessness, a wringing of your hands, the, the pacing of the floor, the stretching of your eyes, the pulling and playing with your hair, uneasiness, apprehension, Apprehension, agony. I bind the spirit of agony right now. Jesus. The agony of defeat in the name of Jesus. Anything that's extreme and prolonged and coupled with intense mental and emotional suffering, Jesus. come out right now. Come out right now. That mental and emotional suffering right now in the name of Jesus. If that's you and you feel like you're suffering and, and, and this thing is getting down in your mind. It's getting down in your, I, I, I call it out of your will, your mind, your intellect, your, 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 your personality. I, I command those things that are manifesting through your personality in the name of Jesus. And that spirit of disappointment.
that spirit of disappointment, you come out right now for everything you thought, for every plan that didn't manifest. Go right now in the name of Jesus. The blood is against you. Everything that's disappointing, everything that that, 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 that's bringing memory recall and memory relapse where you cannot move on. Where, where you, where, where you, one time you were minute to minute, hour to hour. Now you're day to day in the name of Jesus. I, I break the curse of tomorrow, having no thought for tomorrow is what God has called you to be. And I, I, I break the power of those things that will cause you to be afraid to get up in the morning. That dark shadow that lingers over you when you wake up in the morning. You are free indeed, sister. You are free indeed. Whom the sun makes free, you are free indeed. And and I and I and I just command you to breathe right now. May the ruach, may the come on, just breathe right now. Wherever you are, take a deep breath. I, I bind that python spirit. I bind that thing that's wrapped around your chest. And I say you will live and not die. You will rise up and be a valiant soldier. You, you, you are a virtuous woman. Rise up, stand up, stand your ground, and be released into your next level. And, and I bind that spirit of anger where you're going from one emotion to the other, oh, and, and now you're angry. Strong uh, feelings of violence and displeasure and, and belligerence and fury and resentment and being enraged and heated wrath and extremely annoyed yeah, we bind you right now. We yeah. bind that spirit of anger in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we can get angry and not allow emotions to get us to a, a, a boiling point that displeases God. Come on, I've been there. I've been there. You, it, don't, don't judge yourself. We all miss it. We all lose it. But I bind that spirit of anger right now. And, and for those of you that's going to bed tonight, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Come on, forgive right now and let him go. Forgive and let him go. Let her go. Let them go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. This situation will not uh, take you down. It, it, this heated situation will not go into the next day. Because the sun will not go down on your wrath. Come on, take a deep breath and forgive. And, and I bind every anti antisocial disorder, the inability to deal with people in general, oh, <coughs> spirits that make you want to get off to yourself and not socialize and not communicate. I bind that spirit of depression, that spirit of oppression, that spirit of demonic separation when you need to be in the midst of people in the name oh, of Jesus. God. Come on, let's pray. Come on, let's pray. Pray, pray. Come on, pray your, pray your way through. In the name of Jesus, everything that will make you dysfunctional, every, everything that will cause you to, to think in a, a defunctional way, anything that will corral you along and, and draw you into a, a demonic space, in the name of Jesus, every, I, listen, I bind every impulsive statement, anything that will come out of your mouth violently and just be loose that you can never pull back, every violent character trait, anything that will cause you to go to drug or alcohol abuse right now and um, in the name of Jesus, anything that will make you have a harsh or callous indifference, every violation of natural laws, spiritual laws, irresponsibility, laying around, um, and, and not able to get yourself together, not able to shake it. Come on, shake this thing right now. In every spirit that will make you unresponsive to counseling and, 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 and insensitive to what is actually right or, or wrong. I bind every anti-submissive spirit because uh, rebellion is as uh, the sin of, of witchcraft and witchcraft is a work of the flesh. In the name of Jesus, and anything that will, that will cause you uh, to, to, to operate in negativity because you've experienced negativity. And right now, I want to deal with this spirit right here, anxiety. Anxiety, I bind you right now. Anything that will make you anxious right now, anything that will make you short of breath, anything that will make your heart beat fast, I bind panic. I bind pandemonium. I bind panic attack right now. In the name, yeah, that's what we do. This is what we do as believers. This is what we do as believers. We we get delivered. We, we, depend, we press into God. You know, we want all that God has for us in the name of Jesus. I bind anxiety. Don't be anxious for nothing. Have no thought for tomorrow. I bind that thing that make you worry. Uncontrollable impatience. 
Uh, those who wait on the Lord will not be ashamed. You will not be boosh. You will not be damned. Uh, of the spirit that walks hand in hand with the spirit of, of fear and intimidation and uncertainty and the spirit of, of struggle that will make you make wrong uh, decisions. In the name of Jesus, I bind distractions. I bind things that will get you out of the timing of God, out of the place of God. I prophesy you into your topos. In the name of Jesus, come on, just take a praise break right now. Come on, just begin to worship him. Just begin to worship him and thank him right now. We're connecting with you. We're encouraging you right now. We're connecting with you. We're encouraging you. You know, you know, I bind anything that will make you uh, apprehensive in the name of Jesus. Anything that, that, that will cause you uh, to, to fear and have fear tomorrow. I'll be afraid uh, of anything. I, <clears throat> I bind that spirit, the curse of what if, um, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. God, God I, I, I thank you right now and yes. praise you for the anointing of today. Today is the acceptable day of salvation. God, I, I thank you for, for, for a breath of life. I thank you for the Ruach of God. Come on, just begin to praise yes. God. God, I thank you for the power of God that's operating in our lives. I thank you for the ability to continue to love. I bind every demon oh, that will say, I never love again. I never trust the, the, the demon that takes the ability to trust right now in the name of Jesus. The, the demon that changes the way where you suspect, uh, suspect something of everybody and you're suspicious of everybody. You're not going to live like that. In the name of Jesus, the devil is demonic in Jesus' oh, name. And, 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 and I bind that thing that will cause you to lose your covering and not trust churches and not trust yes. men of God. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be loose from those fallacies, loose from those lies, from every lie that's, and, and, and from every thing of confusion that's come against you. Come on, let's begin to pray right now. I feel in the oh, spirit no. that you're getting a breakthrough. We're going to keep praying. Listen, we're going to press and we're going to hold on to his unchanging hand. You know, th this is what we do. We're, we're bringing it back to holiness. We're bringing it back to Jesus. We're bringing it back to the Holy Spirit. Yes. We're not battling against flesh and blood. We're not battling against men. The, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yes. We bind that spirit of carnality. And, and listen, we're going to deal with this. I know there's going to be some manifestations when we do this. And if you got to scream, if you got to do whatever you got to do, but I bind the spirit of betrayal right now. Come out. Come out right now. Come out, you spirit no. of betrayal. In the name of Jesus. Sweat out, cry it out, scream it out, yell it out. If you feel betrayed, take a, take a deep breath and let that person go. Let them go. Let me tell you something. Don't let them keep you in bondage. You know, the more that you don't forgive them, the more that you try to hold on to it and don't let go. I'm telling you, the best thing you can ever do is let them go. Forgive them. They're not worth it. In the name of you, they betrayed you. Listen, so what? You may, you're going to be betrayed again. Shake yourself and move on. Come on. Shake yourself and move on. The Holy Spirit is your, hallelujah, your source. Mm, that seed, that seed of deliverance is in your belly. Uh, come out, come out, you spirit of the betrayal right now. You you Judas spirit. Come on, that betrayed by your loved ones, betrayed by family members, betrayed by bosses, betrayed by, by lovers, betrayed by uh, friends and associates. Come out, you spirit of betrayal, you familiar spirit, the spirit that got to know you and found out all your weaknesses and oh, took advantage of them. I command, I command you to go right now. You, you, you ruling spirit that will rule over the heads of God people. On, Every in, caging incantation. I bind witchcraft, control, and manipulation. Sorcery in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> I bind charismatic witchcraft. Well, you are drawn into that charisma. You're oh, drawn God. into that hey, gift. Jesus. You're worshiping gifts and not man. Go Jesus. right now. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Loosen, loosen, let them go right now. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of manipulation, every fetish, every object that they gave you, Jesus. every object with a demon attached to it, with a memory attached to it, every territorial place, spirit. Every time you go this place, you think about them. Every time you go there, you come on. You're right now, uh, 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 in garbage in, garbage out. You know, God is downloading his, his word on the inside of you and pushing out all the negativity 
in the name of Jesus. God, clean the hard drive of their hearts. Clean the hard drive yes, of their minds right now in the name of Jesus. God, God, let a whole new database come forth, God, that's filled with the word. Hallelujah. That's filled with the anointing. That's filled with worship. That's filled with praise. In the name of Jesus, I bind every mind-binding and every mind-blinding spirit. God, I thank you that you will deliver, you will expose uh, the spirits yes. of treachery, the spirits of disloyalty, the spirits of, of, of violation of confidentiality, the, 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 the spirit <coughs> that will break confidence, the betrayal of, of trust. That, that Come on out, you covenant-breaking spirit right now. Oh, you broke covenant. Every dark covenant, yes. every demonic covenant. I need you to just go in and just continue to pray. There it is right now. The anointing, guess what? The anointing uh, it destroys every yoke. There is no distance in the spirit. The anointing is going forth right now. Every broken covenant, every violation of secrets, the spirit of lies. We come up against every lying spirit. The spirit of lies. Come on right now. Press on in. Press on in. Listen, we need to learn to labor in God. It's time to lay out before him. Let's labor in love. Find that critical spirit, every judgmental spirit, every critical spirit, every critical spirit. The Bible says, be quick to agree with your adversary. So the adversary turn you over to the judge and the judge turn you over to the jailer. The spirit of bondage. I bind that critical spirit, that critical spirit in the name of Jesus that will turn you over to bondage for every person that's judging Vicky, for every person that, that you, you don't have a heaven or a hell to put her in, that's judging the other ladies on this line, that's judging anybody. We bind that spirit of critical, that critical spirit, and we humble ourselves under your mighty hand, God. God, we just ask you right now for your healing balm. There it is. You. Your healing balm of Gilead. You, right now. Now, now let's, let's deal with that bitterness right now. Let's deal with that bitterness. I, I curse the root of bitterness. The spirit yes. of intense antagonism and hatred, uh, uh, the hatred of a person that you hate what happened and, and, and hatred has gotten down in your heart, that poisonous feeling against people, that poisonous feeling uh, 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 against that person. That, that, that poison, uh, every time you go, that feeling, every time you go into that place, poisonous circumstances, poisonous situation, every tree of bitterness, every, those roots that have grown into trees right now, we cut them down, Jesus. we root it right now. Everything that's operating Jesus. undercover right now, in the name of Jesus, we break every undercover bondage in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your healing balm. Thank we you. thank you for your healing balm. We thank you for your healing balm of Gilead. In the name of Jesus, God, excavation, spiritual excavation, gut, gut, God, God, root up, God, God, we break up the foul grounds that the roots will be removed in the name of Jesus. And God, God, I bind that spirit of, 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 um, of hatred that's, that's even so embittered that it becomes deadly, deadly hatred, that, mm. that wormwood and that quinine hatred. That, that hatred that gets down and causes cancer, causes sickness, you know, causes strokes. You will not have cancer. You will not have a stroke. You, you will not be sick in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Come on, breathe and be free. Yes. Let them go. They're not worth a stroke. They're not worth a heart attack. Uh -uh. Listen, your heart may have, may have been broken. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And some of you, your heart wasn't even broken. I bind in the name of Jesus that fake love, that false love. Mm. Your feelings have been hurt. Your pride is hurt. You know, your heart wasn't broken. Your pride, you wasn't even in love with that person. I bind mm. that, that, that false sense of, of love, that, yes. that cupidity. It's cupidity, not just stupidity, <laughs> that cupidity. Yes. You know, that, that, that demonic, Cupid is a demon. Ain't no baby angels. I bind cupidity. We're, 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 we're control and manipulation and witchcraft, mind binding Jesus. and mind blinding spirits will make you think you, you're not in love with that person. I bind that false love, that false attachment, that soul tie and that old tie, filling up an empty place with something that you know God ain't called you to have. In the name of Jesus, <clears throat> come out spirit of sorrow right now. Sorrow and grief and bitterness you grab hands and come out. Sorrow and grief and bitterness in the name of Jesus. And every spiritual burden, that's right. Take off that spirit 
and that spirit of heaviness and let it be replaced with the garment of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God, you, I thank you, God. Glorify you and magnify you. You're worthy of all the You're honor, worthy, the glory, Jesus. and the grace. Come on, let's just start praying. We love you, Come Jesus. On. Come on, just start worshiping him wherever you Jesus. are. We magnify every, every you. Every heavy load of obligation. You're the center every of our joy. Bearing oh, spirit. Oh, every yoke of bondage. In the name, and I break the power of that yoke. That's right. I break that yoke where you yoked up that unequal yoke. You, mm. you, you, you had no business even in that neighborhood. You had no business with that person. Mm. You know that you're lowering your standard. When the enemy comes in, God raises the standard. Get back up to where God called you to be. You lowered your standard. He called about Sunday that they both shut up. E la 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 ba sata. You ain't got no business over there. That's not your neck of woods. What you doing over there? Come out of it right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I, I command you to be who God called you to be. Rise up. Rise up. Those folk cannot defame you. They cannot make you shame. They don't have the power over your life to make you hold your head down. Hold your head up. You, you, you are a mighty woman of God. You're a mighty man of valor. Whoever's watching, hold your head up yes. right now. I see some men that are really broken. I see some men, we say saying sister to sister, but I see some men that are really hurting. I, I see some men, you're hurting because you've done women wrong and it came back on you. Mm -hmm. but, but, but I bind right now the boomerang. I bind the ricochet. In the name of Jesus, that's right, we're going in the spirit and we, you will not be the same. If you just hold on to the horns of the, this altar tonight, we're not going to let go. Come on, we're going to pray. Forget what people think. People get on Facebook and do whatever they want to do. Yeah, but, but we're on here for intercession. People are getting free for healing, for deliverance in the name of Jesus. God, we think that, that that heavy yoke, that burden is being destroyed right now in the name of Jesus, that spirit of oppression, depression, obsession. We break that threefold cord right now. Even those things that made it worse over the holidays, Christmas gone, New Year's gone, God is still with you. Don't let a holiday bind you up or bind your spirit up in the name of Jesus. Be free whom the sun makes free. Don't matter what time of the year it is. I bind every time release curse in the name of Jesus. The, your birthday may be coming, but you're going to have many more. The time release curse of Christmas, the time release curse of New Year's, the time release curse of your birthday. Be free and in the name of Jesus. Don't you be sitting up looking at the clock, worrying about who you're going to be with on your next holiday, who you're going to be with on the next, you're going to be with Jesus. Woo! Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noonday, Jesus, Jesus in the Jesus afternoon. Be free. Be yes. free. Be loosed. Come on, be loose. Yes. Breathe. I command that python to come from around your chest. You are a woman of God. You are a man of valor. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up and take your rightful position in the Holy Ghost. You are get out of that third, get out of that second heaven activity. I pull you away from the prince of the power of the air who rules over the children of disobedience. I break that threefold cord of carelessness, rebellious, and unbelief. Carelessness, rebelliousness, and unbelief. We break that threefold cord Jesus. right now. In the name, and right now, you spirit of calamity. You spirit of calamity, you go right now. Oh, right. Some of you get tired already, but you're going to have to learn how to press to get blessed. Come on, press through, press through, yes. press through. As I be a woman of God, and I am, when you rise up in the morning, the sun will be your friend and not your enemy. Yes. As you get up in the morning, gloom and doom will not meet you, but the joy of the Lord is your strength. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I release the joy of the morning. I release the joy of the Lord. There it is right now. Just begin to worship him. Press through. Press through in the name of Jesus. That spirit of calamity, that spirit of misfortune, that spirit of injury, that spirit of disaster. Jeez. You're already going through and you said, I can't take another thing. This will be the straw that breaks the camel back. The devil is the liar. You can <laughs> take it. You can do it. You will make it. I prophesy, decree it, and declare it. In the, rise up. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up in the name. Take up your bed and walk. Don't lay down. I bind that spirit of sorrow, that spirit of feeling sorry for yourself in everything that's grievous, that spirit of affliction, that yes. spirit of adversary. Come on, misery. Misery loves company. Mm -mm. I disconnect myself from the company of misery. The spirit of misery is not my portion. The spirit of misery is not my friend. Come on, press through. 
Press through. Come on, you got to get your breakthrough right now. Get your breakthrough right now. Get your breakthrough right now. God, I bless you and glorify you right now. We buy cataclysmic things, uh, catastrophes, calamities. And, and I prophesy the word over you in Psalms 18 and 18. It says, they confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. Psalms 57 and 1 says, be merciful to me, O God. <clears throat> be merciful to me for my soul trusts in you. And, and in the shadow of your wing, I will make my refuge until the calamities have passed by. And I decree and declare that the calamities are passing you by. Proverbs 6, 14 and 15 says perversity is in his heart. He devises evil uh, continually. He sows discord. Therefore, his calamity shall be sudden. Suddenly, he shall be broken down with remedy. That's why you got to let folk go. Don't yes. hold on to them. Those who are dispersers and releasers of calamity, they will be dealt with, but separate yourself. In the name of Jesus. Yes, and Proverbs 17 and 5 says, who he who is glad at calamity will not go unpunished. And even when God, uh, and I'm telling you, God does cause things to, if you, you will reap what you sow. So you cannot rejoice. You cannot sit up expecting people to die. You cannot expect the worst, but you know what? You give them to God and you praise God yes. and you bless them. You barack them. The Bible says God barack Adam and Eve, barack them. B-A-R-A-K, Barak. That means in the, in, he blessed them. On the inside of that Barak was the blessing and the curse. I Barak you, brother. I Barak you, sister. You choose your destiny because in that Barak is the blessing and the curse. Mm. You Barak them. Mm. Don't you curse them. Come on. Don't you, don't you get mad. Don't you release no negativity. Don't you wish no dark. I Barak you. Barack. And you choose your own destiny based on how you treat me. Backlash, revenge retaliation of the enemy is bound and blocked in the name of Jesus the mm. spirit of carelessness the spirit of rebellion the spirit of unbelief in the name of Jesus mm. and right now I bind every I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through some states of the soul we almost finished can y'all just take a deep yes. breath yes, that's on. why folk can't that's why folk can't get no breakthrough they get too impatient come on mm. let's wait on them a little bit we're gonna sit in this anointing a little bit uh, it's going to take a breaker anointing, but the breaker yes. has come. The breaker has come. Jesus is the breaker. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the deliverer. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to break some, some mental states. Um, there's four of them we're going to deal with. The first one is sum sukos. That's the Greek word soul tie. Sum sukos. I break every old tie. Every soul tie, anything that will connect your mind, your will, your intellect, your soul, your emotions to another. We sever yes, that demonic cord in the name of Jesus. Yes, we, we sever Sun Sukos, we break yes, you. Sun Sukos, no longer will you be tied at the soul with anybody. Yes. But you have the same mind that is in Christ Jesus. You have the mind of Christ when you wake up in the morning. <clears throat> your mind will be on Jesus when you wake up in, in the eve when you when when you go to work in the morning your mind will be on Jesus in the noonday in the evening in the midnight hour Jesus 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 and I and I bind Daisukos yeah. I bind Daisukos double mindedness a double minded man can't have anything from God Daisukos we bind you we we plead the blood we we release the word of God in the name of Jesus and we bind Daisukos no longer will you be two souled no longer you don't have two souls you got one soul and I bind anything that will split your soul in two I bind every double minded every Daisukos spirit anything that will make you Talk out the side of your mouth. I bind every forked tongue in the name of Jesus. Anything that will make you say one thing in one moment and, and say another one the next. You you have you have one mind in Christ Jesus. One you you got one word from God. You're not and that word is going in the same direction and you hold on to that. And I bind oligo sucos, mm. little minded, oligo sucos, small minded, narrow minded. 
you that's why you can't see but from one day to the next because of legal sucose wow. i break the power of anything that will cause your mind and your thinking to be in the box yes. i command you to come out of the box i yes, break every cage and incantation over your mind yes. when somebody's cage your mind to get your keep your mind on them instead of jesus that's idolatry i bind the spirit of idolatry jesus in the morning jesus in the noonday jesus in the afternoon jesus in the midnight hour i bind iso sucose <clears throat> that means that your mind is so like a person that you have be, uh, created a soul tie and, and anything that will make you right now. Let's pray for discernment. Put your hand on your belly right now. Put your hand on your, I've been there when the enemy, and I'm going to tell you, I saw a snake in the spirit. I saw a snake. And this one time, and I'm going to share my testimony. This happened to me. I saw a sign. I saw a snake going sideways. You know, I saw it in the spirit. I was driving down the street and I heard the word sidewinder, sidewinder. And I saw a snake going, going sideways. And, and, and that's a snake that will blind you. That's a snake that will get you from the blind spot. You know, it used to be on the cars. It used to say that objects are closer than what they seem when you just wasn't paying attention. You know, you know, because it was so close to you, you couldn't see it. That wow. sidewinder, it knew not to come from the front of you. Jesus. It knew that goodness and mercy got your back and it's following you all the days of your life. Know you under the covering. So this enemy had to get you through your spiritual peripheral in the name of Jesus. And I bind every sidewinding spirit, every snake that will come sideways oh. and that will attack you from the right or attack you from the left. The word of the Lord says a thousand will fall to one side and 10,000 to the other, but no harm will come. Now you're dwelling every sidewinding spirit, every sidewinding snake, every demon that will come in unawares right now, every demon that will cause you to be in, uh, inattentive, every demon that will cause you to be reckless and negligent and unmindful and, and not sensitive to the things of God, every demon that will desensitize you to sin, every demon that will desensitize you, and, and you know that you're, and right now I command your ooze, your, your ears are in your stomach, your spiritual ooze, let whoever has an oops, let, who, let whoever have ears hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you, woman of God, saying to you, man of God, be, be sensitive. No longer will you be desensitized. Open your eyes. May the scales and the veils be removed from your eyes so that you can see that devil in the name of Jesus, that spirit that will cause you to be thoughtless, that will cause you to be visionless, that will cause you to be uh, forgetful that will cause you to be uh, 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 inaccurate, that will cause you to be off. In, and, and I bind every codependency spirit. Well, when, you, when you become codependent, I, I call that thing up and out. Come on, codependency. Jesus. Codependency, come up and out in the name of Jesus. That, that thing that would, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go back right now. The enemy is roaming around seeking whom he, whom he, whom he may devour. That's why God said, be alert, be sharp, and be vigilant. And I command your, your, your discerner to be sharpened. In Jesus, Jesus, Jesus name. name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on, just begin to pray. She just begin to pray. Husband. Just begin to pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. I think I got about five more minutes if, if I have permission. Hallelujah. Yes, I know some folks. Listen, some of you, you got to drop off. Go ahead. We're going to keep going. Come on, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. We pressing in. We pressing in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. <clears throat> Every spirit of codependency. Hallelujah. That's prefix co. It means to be joined together. I break the connection. It means to mutually share. I break everything you mutually share in the natural, in the spirit. I, I break every partnership that was made and say you're no longer partners. Anything that will cause you to coexist, I break it right now. Uh, uh, every situation that, that, that where every time you do something you relate to that person is broken right now. It's broken right now. It, I, I break addictions. You can't be addicted to a person. I break it right now in the name of Jesus where you're dependent on one person in the name of Jesus through the very seat of your soul and the deep parts of your emotions. The seat, may the anointing, the healing balm of Gilead, get down into the deepest parts of your emotions. And guess what? I bind every seducing spirit. I bind enticer. 
I bind every seducer. I bind the enticer. I, I, I bind every Jezebel, every Delilah right now. Every, every spirit that you lay your head in, in its lap in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that, that, uh, that uh, controlled you from behind the scene. And even Athaliah that tried to get on the throne in your heart and control your life. I bind every demonic love triangle, every demonic collusion in the name of Jesus, every demonic bondage and, and demonic uh, dependency, and even the spirit of confusion. <clears throat> every complicated circle of ties. That's right, we're dealing with all these yokes, all these people all these personalities, all these spirits, anything that will solidify the legal right of the enemy to top your thought life, the legal right of the enemy to top your prayer life, the illegal right of the enemy to, to, to transmit or, or transfer oh spirits to you. I bind transmission of, of, of even STDs, of, of sexually transmitted diseases, Jesus. spiritually transmitted diseases, whether you come by the spirit, you come by the natural. I bind STDs, sexual transmissions, or spiritual transmissions. Yeah. In the spirit of complacency, the spirit of, of lukewarmness, the spirit of, of, of false security, a mind binding and mind blinding spirit. The spirit that says, once saved, always saved. Oh, the Jesus. devil is a liar. The, the, the righteous scarcely be saved. And we got to walk out our salvation with fear and trembling. God, I thank you that we own the straight and the narrow, the road of, of, to righteousness right now. In the name of Jesus. And I bind every high thing. Hoop soma. Anything that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Every high place in your mind. Don't think more of yourself than you ought to. There's some people got in the bondage because of a high place, of a high thing, of thinking more of yourself than, than you ought to, a, an excessively uh, favorable opinion, favorable opinion of one says, oneself, one's own ability, one's own importance, one's own wit. Uh, I bind every egotistic thing that's full of vanity in the name of, of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and God, I, I praise you and glorify you for every that for delivering from every conniving spirit right now. Yes, God. Every conniving spirit, every evil intention, any motive that's under the radar and behind the scenes. Uh, I come every clandestine operation, every confederacy, every conspiracy. Every dark thing that's operating behind the scene that want to jump out and, and shock you. Everything that's hiding in your life in the name of Jesus. Control and, and manipulation and, and, and ruling spirits. Anything that want to control your steps, control your words, control your thoughts in the name of Jesus. I, I bind the, the finger pointing demon in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you right now that you are delivering every one of us from spiritual imprisonment, from the spiritual imprisonment of judging others. And I bind this spirit right now, escapism. I bind the spirit of escapism in the name daydreaming. You know, leaving yourself and leave. God ain't called you to leave. Your, your, I, I, you know, the, the, the word of God uh, cuts asunder the spirit and soul. And I bind anything that will cause you to use your mind to control your spirit to escape in the name stay right there stand and see the salvation of the lord don't run from this thing or you'll see it again in jesus name in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah Hold on. and I, I got one last thing i'm gonna pray for the spirit of deception yes god oh god yes thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus one one last thing we're praying against the spirit of deception in the name of Jesus, we, we will not be defensive. We will not be defeated. We are more than conquerors. We're overcomers in the name of Jesus. And deception is a part of a Luciferian doctrine. It's a demonic hole, mm. the spirit of deception, where, where one is deliberately misled to promote false, false, oh false, false things and, and lies. The strong man of deception is the spirit of Satan. Satan, we bind you in the name of Jesus. You were a deceiver mm. before the creation of time. 
I bind every cunning, subtle thing that will slither into your life in the name of Jesus, especially that other Jesus spirit. I bind the other Holy Ghost. There's another Jesus spirit. I bind it in that spirit of deception in the name of Jesus. The, the spirit of Jesus does not lie in the name of Jesus. And I bind that other Jesus spirit, mm. the other Holy Ghost. There is another Jesus. I bind bar Jesus. You know, the one that comes in the name of Jesus. I bind you Jesus. in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus covers you, false Jesus. Yes. I bind the Ooh. false Jesus. I bind the Luciferian My spirit, God. that spirit of deception, entertaining familiar spirits, entertaining <coughs> dark spirits, entertaining things that come as an angel of light. I bind that angel of light in the name of Jesus. Anything that comes to cheat, I'm going to call out that cheating spirit. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. That, that spirit of chicanery, that spirit uh, uh, that operates dirty, that, that spirit that, that commits dupery, that slick spirit, I bind, Ooh. that slick operator, that spirit that comes to defraud, to be fool, to double, that double dealing spirit, that underhanded, undermining spirit, Hank, that hanky panky, the, that hoodwink spirit, everything that comes to bamboozle, every, that snow job, that, 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 that thing that want to take you for a ride, take you down the wrong road. We bind it. We renounce it. Renounce it. Yes. In the, in the precious name of Jesus, we pray. My Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just My begin God. to thank God for healing and deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. My thank you, God. God. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus. Oh, Lord. Falling in love with Jesus. It's the best thing I've ever, ever done. Falling, go back to your first love, in love with Amen. Jesus, falling in love with Jesus, falling in love with Jesus, it's the best thing I've ever, ever done. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm telling you something. Every time I hear you pray and you speak, there's just... Oh, I just, you're, God is all over you. And I, I, I hope that we can do more evenings like this and where we can, uh, the sister to sister thing. I, I just love it. It's going to grow. And I want you to know, I only shared this on my private page. I'm going to share it to my big page. I felt tonight, I, I just wanted to, so when I share it to my big page, just, I got 1.4 million over there. They're going to watch this later, but I wanted to just do this our first one on my private page, but I, I feel like it's okay. I'm going to share this to my big page. It's going to bless a lot of people over and over again. And so love you so much. You're my sister. Thank you. I love you, my sister. From, from one sister to another sister, God bless you. Sister I to love sister. You. Okay. God bless. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye-bye. Okay. You guys, wasn't that amazing? I'm just telling you something. She prayed with me uh, after, you know, all this broke out and she was just um, really such strength to me. Now, I want to tell you all, many of you are inboxing me on Facebook and I haven't been able to get to everybody, friends, people that don't, don't even know, and just know that I'm going to get to you. Some of you that are victim of the same person uh, that, I'm, did, that I was uh, with, you, uh, I'm going to be talking to you also they keep coming in and the reason why I share and I'm going, I'm going to get off of this in just a moment, but the reason why I share what I went through is because God clearly told me to go public with my confession because it's going to set a lot of women free and it is setting many, many women free. They're, they can walk into 2000, they're in 2019, uh, walking into their true destiny. There's still some of you that's inboxed me that you are a victim of this person and I have not been able to, to, to set a time to talk to you. Trust me, we're going to, I'm going to get to you. Uh, I've, I've had to take a couple of days off because it's been so overwhelming. Uh, over 38 women have inboxed me um, since I confessed. Um, 
I guess it's a few weeks ago now. Time, I don't even, time is just, and so um, I'm dealing with all of them, and um, uh, I haven't talked to everybody, but I am going to, and we're going to be, you're my brother, you're my sister. Love you, Kimberly, Prophetess Kimberly. Wow, is she just amazing? Uh, but just, I want you to know that I'm here for you. Uh, we're in this together, and um, just know that, you know, at some point, I will be able to, be able to talk to y'all. So, love you guys. We're going to do this again, sister to sister. Um, we'll have other guests, but we're going to definitely have on Prophetess Kimberly often and more often because she is she has been such a strength to me. And so, um, I know my best days are ahead. You know, um, every time I hear her pray, I, 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 and she releases what she releases. I'm just telling you something. I, I feel I feel hope. You know. Uh, there is hope when trouble comes my way. There is hope. Jesus has come to stay. There is hope. Oh, yeah. When things are not well with me, I find hope. It's a beautiful hope. And that sets me free. I have hope. When trouble comes my way, I have hope. Jesus has come to stay. I have hope, oh yeah. When things are not well with me, I have hope. It's a beautiful hope and that sets me free. Well, I haven't sung that song in years. Old oh, Brother Brown from A, um, A O, was it? I'm sorry, I already said A O C in New Orleans. We used to sing that song. So I love you guys. Thank you for joining. Sorry, joining us. Sorry, we had a little difficulties uh, getting started, but thank God uh, we were able to hear and be ministered to by um, Prophetess Kimberly Daniels. Continue to pray for me. I'll pray for you. You pray for me. I'll pray for you. Okay, I'm not going to sing another song, but I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for supporting me. Just, we got a lot of days ahead, but God is doing, God is up to some amazing things in all of our lives and um, I'm excited what I'm excited what the future is going to be for all of us okay all right love you guys love you that's my cousin Hank I love you good night you all we'll be back on here with another sister to sister I just love this um, uh, prophets came up with that name today let's call it sister to sister and so uh, we'll, we'll be back on here again I don't know when maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get a, a one day a week that we come on here in the evening and decide what day just it'll always be sister to sister and we'll grow this you can share with your friends and have it there's my my friend Pauline we went to the Saints game last when was that a couple of Sundays ago and the Saints won I'm a Saints fan okay love you Anita love you uh, Tiana love everybody all right good night